Hello Hornets and welcome. Today I'm going to be going over using implicit differentiation to find uh, both uh, the equations of tangent lines, finding points on a curve where the tangent line is vertical and finding all points on the curve where tangent line is horizontal. And um, we're going to start by uh, taking an implicit differentiation function 3x squared plus 3y minus 2xy equaling 1. What we're going to do is we're going to start off by finding the implicit differentiation. Now to do this, we're going to be doing ddx. And we have to recognize that the y value is not the same. Because the y value is not the same, we're using the rule that says dy dx is y prime. Now, if you wish, you can always use dy dx instead of y prime, but it does get a little bit ugly in its appearance. So let's take a look. We start with the derivative of x normally, 6x to the first. But when we take the derivative of 3y, we're looking at 3 times the derivative of y, which we call y prime. Now, in the next piece, we're going to have to use the product rule negative 2 times 1 times y minus or plus negative 2 times x y prime and our derivative of 1 is 0. Now our goal is to gather our y primes together so I'm going to have to move my 2y over and I'm going to subtract 6x and I'm left with uh, my y prime able to be factored out from 3 minus 2x. Well, I'm now going to divide. Y prime has to be equal to 2y minus 6x over 3 minus 2x. Or I can factor out a negative from the top and the bottom. I can factor out a negative and multiply it on the, the bottom or the top to the bottom or whatever. And I end up flipping the terms. Now, if I'm trying to find the equation of the tangent line, let's say at x equals 2, the first thing that I want to do is figure out, well, what is the corresponding y value? They only give me an x. So I take that point, the x value, and I plug it into the original equation. Now, this requires us to follow our order of operations and be very careful so that we don't make any fundamental mistakes. We end up getting 3 times 4 plus 3y minus 4y equaling 1, 12 minus y equals 1, minus y equals negative 11, y equals 11. We now have the point. The point is 2 comma 11. Our derivative comes from this piece here when we plug in x equals 2 and y equals 11. And the slope of the tangent line is going to have to be 6 times 2 minus 2 times 11 divided by 2 times 2 minus 3. This gives me 12 minus 22 divided by negative by positive 1. 4 minus 3. Let me do it slowly. I get negative 10 divided by 1, and my slope is negative 10. So the equation of the tangent line uses this point and this slope and I can now call it y minus 11 equals negative 10 times x minus 2. This is the equation of the tangent line to the curve given to me at x equals 2. Now, one of the things that we're often asked is to find when is our curve going to have a vertical tangent line. And vertical tangent lines means that the slope has a zero in the denominator. And yet, when we look at our original slope, our denominator is 2x minus 3. That means that 2x minus 3 has to equal 0, and therefore 2x has to equal 3, and x has to equal 3 halves. But once I find my 3 halves, I now have to go back to the original equation, and I have to find the x, after all, or the y, excuse me. After all, they are asking the specific question, when will we have this vertical tangent? And that's going to be at an x and y location. So we're going to end up taking our x and plugging it in. 
three halves. <coughs> we have three y minus two, three halves. We have y equaling one. This gives me nine halves plus three y minus three y equaling one. Uh-oh, three halves does not equal one. Oops, there is no value of x or y that gives me a vertical tangent. So there is no vertical tangent to the curve. And this is why. There's no solution there. There's nothing for us to do. The last thing that we are often asked to do is determine when the curve uh, will have a horizontal tangent line. And so we're going to have to start right back with our derivative 6x minus 2y over 2x minus 3. This time we want a horizontal tangent line from our dy dx. So I'm going to take the numerator and set it equal to 0. When is 6x minus 2y equal to 0? When 6x equals 2y or uh, when 3x is equal to 2y. Well, if I suddenly have 3x equals 2y and I have the original equation, 3x squared plus 3y minus 2xy equaling 1, then wherever I see a y, I can plug in a 3x. Wherever I see a 3x, I can put a y. Now, I don't recommend 3x equaling y because this is going to kind of trick people. Instead, I want to replace these two values here with y equals 3x, y equals 3x. I end up with 3x squared plus 9x minus, this is giving me 6x squared equaling 1. And I'm now going to go through my process. And let's see what we get. We get 6x squared minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 1 equals 0. For 0 equaling 3x squared minus 9x plus 1. Well, if I'm looking for the 0, I want the quotient rule. Or, uh, excuse me, the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is giving me 2x values. 3 halves plus or minus the square root of 69 over 2. And you'll notice I have reduced that. All righty, so here we go. Um, let's just make sure that I have no issues. We should be good. So notice our y is 3 times x, isn't it? So if our y is 3x, then my y value that is associated with the first x is 9 halves plus or minus 3 roots 69 halves. The second y value is going to be the minus. 9 halves minus 3 square root 69 divided by 2. And all I did was place it into y equals 3 times x. I now have to write my two points. 3 halves plus the square root of 69 halves. Comma. 9 halves. Um, plus 3 root 69 halves. And second equation, 3 halves minus root 69 halves. 9 halves minus 3 root 69 halves. And now those are the values or the points on the curve where f of x is going to have a horizontal tangent line. Now, that's the first problem uh, that I asked you to do on the implicit differentiation practice. 
And I'm hoping that uh, you will use this information to help you do numbers two, three, four, or part uh, uh, two, three, four, five, and six. So you've got five more to do, and we will be going over. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope this has helped. Please be well and be safe. Take care and be nice to each other. Please remember it's easy to be mean, so work harder and be nice, be kind to each other, and remember change starts from within. Thank you very much, and please be safe. Bye-bye.